What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we are doing our final, well, who knows, I said my last one was my final ever tier list, but I don't know, I think I might just keep doing tier lists for, for the end, till, till the end of time, but um, we are here with Ty. Yo, what's good guys? And we are doing a tier list of the best players in NBA 2K20, my team. So part one is going to be on his channel, a link will be in the description to that video, and basically this is what we have come up with so far. So we've got Kareem and Kawhi as the two S tier players. We had a, a fairly heated debate about this card right here in A tier. But um, other than that, though, like I'm, I'm good with all these. I'm good with all these. So um, next we've got Siakam. I like this card. but it's So like, do I. It's just tough because the time we're in. I Look, I, I think B is perfect for him. Yeah, I think had this been three weeks ago before fan favorites, he'd be like hovering between these two tiers. Mm -hmm. But... Like, those th last three batches were crazy. Then, Embiid. You, I guess, see, I don't, I don't know how much better he is, but then, you know, that Kareem, but objectively speaking, he's probably... He, jumpers, jumpers enough better, I think that he's there. Wilt. You, put, you go with him here? It's just, it, here's the situation. It's tough. How many centers do we want to have in S tier? Um, that's the thing. I'm fine with him at A because I do think there are a few better centers. Yeah, there's like four or five without question better centers in the world. So absolutely. So I'm gonna put him in A. Yeah. Um, LeBron. A. A. I I don't have any hesitation. Do you? I mean, honestly, here's the thing. Though. Here's the thing that I'm going. To I'm fine. I'm fine with it. Like I'm not gonna argue. Like it's not again. It's not a hill I want to die on. So I'll give you it. You know, I I, I love that LeBron. For me, it's just if LeBron doesn't have the ball in his hands, what is he doing for you? That's true. That's why if you you know, it's just it's tough because every point guard now is gonna be. That's the only tough thing. Yeah. Um. But I'm not gonna argue. It's not a, again. It's not a hill I want to die on. So wait and see. Both ways together. Um. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. No question. Any arguments? Worthless. I think he's better than Paul Pierce. I'm going to argue. But what? What does he do better than Paul Pierce? I'll I'll give you. But what does he do better? Better half court dribbles. Better half court dribbles. Is. He can move it. I I don't care. He can move the group in the half court. Still can't shoot from the corners. He can't. You're right. But I still neither can Paul Pierce. Yeah, but at least Paul Pierce can tween. That's all Paul Pierce. Can. And do you know what else? Oh, sorry, I'm wrong, I'm wrong, I'm wrong. The other Carmelo Anthony's got the LeBron James layup package. This one doesn't. Yeah, that LeBron, or that, I don't, that Melo's not that bad. If you argue this, you have not used this card enough. D for Steven Jackson. You have him in D. Yes. His release isn't bad. His defense is decent. He's got good sigs. He's six foot eight and can play the two, and has got the pro A tween with a great hop step. But the thing about it is, here's the thing: I haven't used Stephen Jackson. I've used him, but not that much. Am I taking Stephen Jackson over Glenn Rice? Yes. So I'm not arguing it. <laughs> you know, okay. If Glenn's, in, if Glenn's in D, I can't argue that. But when it comes to Stephen Jackson or Carmelo, you know, I'm more comfortable with. Would you take Melo's base over Beasley's base? Take Melo's base over Beasley's base. So that's a difficult question because I'm more green with Melo's base, but he can't shoot from the corners. So that's difficult. For I me, it's easy. just like I think Stephen Jackson is just a way better Paul Pierce. I hate Paul Pierce. <laughs> Pro eight though, it's different. It's different. It is different. It definitely is. Rudy, I'll give I'll give you this one. I like this guy more than everybody else, so I'm guessing you're gonna say A. It's tough, though, because him and Kawhi are so, so similar. Yeah. It's, I like Kawhi more, but it's close. I, it's We can move him down. I'm I'm fine uh, with it. Or I'm, I'm fine a, with it. I, I, for me, Kawhi. it's Rudy's wedge between the two Kawhis. But I will say this. I will say this. That LeBron compared to Rudy, I think it's, you know, I think it's close, too. So I think, I think Rudy's in between Kawhi and Bron. That's what I'm going to say. The corner three, though, is killer with the, with LeBron, though. That's a big difference. I feel you. I feel that. AK, same as Siakam? Absolutely. No question. 
yeah. It's mad where it's like, AK, you're like, yeah, it's kind of the same as Siakam. So, mm-hmm. um, just for the thumbnail, just so that we have some extra cards in this tier, so it kind of looks a little bit better picture-wise. And uh, now we go back. So, <laughs> AK with Siakam, Eddie, are you going to argue C? No, no arguments. No, 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 no. no. And why? Is- Wiseman. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think you gotta. I I think you gotta go A. I don't. Okay, I don't I'll give you like to, but I think you have to. I'll give you. He is very much on the fence, but I'll give you A. Yeah. I'm not gonna. Yeah. Uh, is that what it is? He's Paul Pierce with a worse tween, but better on defense. Oh, D, I'm fine. Or, I'm fine with F. I'm fine with F. I, I think he's on the borderline of D or F. But his defense is elite, but that... His defense is so, so good. They need to, next year, stop making jump shots where people can't shoot from the corners. It's 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 it's, it's the worst thing. It's one of... I guess there's a lot of things in the game, but... It's been in the game for years. Life, how many people in real life cannot shoot from the corner? I mean, no that's way. the problem. But it's like, been in the game for years. Like, Embiid can't... Embiid... This is the first year Embiid's been able to shoot from the corners mm-hmm. since he's been in the game. Yep. Lamelo. Lamello. I personally would... Look, I'm going to let you lead this and then I'll talk. I mean, I'd have him here, but if you want to put him B with Kevin Durant, I'm not going to argue it. Okay, yeah, let's put him in B and then, you know, not argue. Oh, sorry, Perfect. sorry, I've, I've just realized where my scroll is on my recording. Sorry, I I personally think he's A, but I also do not think he's objectively better than Kevin Durant. So, considering we have Kevin Durant and Jonathan Isaac here, I've, no, I'm not arguing. I don't feel yeah. as strongly about LaMelo Ball as I do about Jalen Rose. Yeah, I'd take Jalen Rose over LaMelo Ball, absolutely. Yeah, Steph. Steph, F. F. I, I mean, he's not worthless, but he's bad. No, he's like he's got ninety nine strength, so that kind of puts him above the worthless tier. But yeah, no, he's he's not very good. Lamar B. Yeah, I can't justify I mean, putting him above Kevin Durant. So we got a lot of B B tier players, but I mean nothing you we can really separate there. I don't think. Wigan C. Yep, not gonna argue that. I C's Wigan. Perfect. I think Wigan. I take Wiggins over Eddie Jones, but I would also take Hita over Wiggins. So. See, I take Wiggins over about everybody at C tier, but I like Wiggins in this game. Um, Would you take Wiggins over anyone at B, though? No. Okay, so yeah. So Wiggins, top of C. Yeah, I really like Wiggins as well, though. Wiggins over, like, Jimmy and all those for me. Mm-hmm. Blake. C. I agree. Uh, I think he's close. I, nah, C. C. I, I can't say he's close to B because he's... He's really good at the small forward. I just can't play on point guard. He just, he just doesn't have great dribble saves, and that does hurt. Yeah, Shaq, we going same as Wilt? I think A is where he belongs. I, I really do. I don't think you can separate him, Wilt, or Wiseman. I really don't. But all I'm saying is that I initially thought when they took away the Giannis behind the back, this Shaq was going to be worse. But I have to admit, I'm I'm wrong. This Shaq is so much better than the glitch Shaq. That Shaq is a ton better. He really is. That's like his, incredible. That pro, fi- pro 5 behind the back is so good. It's good. It's very, very good. Especially with the Pro 2 tween, where you can go tween legs into a behind mm-hmm. the back, and they can, you can chain them really easily. You definitely can. Uh, super, super glitchy. KP, look, I, look, I, I, I want to admit that I was wrong about this card. Yeah. I feel I strongly wrong. that this card's an A tier. <sighs> You know what? Hey, you know what? I'm not going to argue that. And here's why. In a competitive type setting, if you're seven three, nothing can take that away. You know, it, I I can't argue that. No, like I've seen. Is it FSU that's been running him? Yeah. And he's just yep. been dominating with him. Yep. Like he is. He's so glitchy. Like when he you were sa- when you were saying that his he gets stripped more because he's tall. He also gets so much separation off that like or two mm-hmm. standing cross off the screen. It's Very ridiculous. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's, it's, he's you, know, good. you don't need to do anything. It's the same. It's the same with like Yao Ming with the is it the mm-hmm. curry escape with the kind curry of stutter escape, step behind yeah. the back. The amount of yep. space the taller guys get off that is ridiculous. It's, it's crazy. I'll give you this though. Bow ball is better. 
Bowl Bowl's better. Bowl better. Bowl Bowl's better, absolutely. Put the two of those guys together. <laughs> it's tough. It's definitely tough. F for Wilkes? Yeah, he's, I can't say I've ever used the card, so... Yeah, he'd no, be like F or D. He's a really good defender. Release is okay, but he's he's got a good behind the back and he can tween, but he's just that little bit small. Uh, S for Yanis. Is that the point guard? Either way, it's either, S. It either of them. It's not like yeah. the LeBron thing where he corner sits all the time. Yeah, either of them. It doesn't matter. It truly does. Yeah, yeah, it was okay. yeah, it was the best card in the game. Dino. A... Okay, I'm not going to argue that. I'd have Dino S, but I'm not going to argue A. I just think at the power forward, him and Wiseman are inseparable, to be honest with you. Yeah, that's fair. I think when I made my own list, I both of them an S, so I'll give you that. I'll agree with that. Eddie, A. Yeah, I mean, I you can't move him up or down. A is literally exactly where he belongs. But it's crazy that, like, take away Yao, who's clearly the best center in the game. You could argue any of these guys is the second best big man in the game. You absolutely could. Now, I do think Kareem, for me at least, is by far the second best. Um, but you could definitely argue that. And definitely for the third spot, I just... It's it's crazy. If he had, if he'd asked me two weeks ago, I would have said Kareem. But the more... I'm starting to dominate with Eddie. Mm-hmm. And Eddie's, there was a moment where, Ed, I mean, he just moves so well. So, on the like he's, event. He feels, for me, he feels like he's Lamella Ball. Mm-hmm. Like, except definitely. he's a seven-foot-tall center. Mm-hmm. Mirasan. I've never used his card. To be D? Honest. Never used him. I'm not going to argue that. I just... I, I would never use him. D is fine. I, he uh, Doesn't he have range? I think he does. Gold range. He can dribble glitch. I can't argue that. His ball control is a little low, but... A for Cam? A for Cam? Gosh, here's where it's tough. I like... I. I Cam would be the worst. No, I can't even say that. A is where he belongs. A, it's just the, the gap between some of the B tier players and A is so, so small. Yeah, but for me, Cam versus... Like, I'd take Cam over Jordan any day. I'd take Cam over both of these guys as well. Me too. Me too, absolutely. I just think that it's just... It's such a small gap and it's really preference-based. Yeah. You know, that's really all it comes down to. That, that, I know you're a big fan, but... You were going to argue this? I'm not going to argue that. No, no, no. I'm if not going like, to oh, argue that. I'm not going to argue that. Like, I love Thad Young, but I'm not comparing him to... I, um, I'm not comparing him I, to Siakam. I'm not comparing him to Kurilenko or any of these guys. Like, I thought you might have him in B. I'm fine with C. Absolutely no, fine No, like, I think on my, on my original list, I had Kawhi down here, but um, I'm not going to... I'm not, not going to argue. Like, they both give you different things. Kawhi's way better on defense. Thad Young's not the best release in the game, so... He is. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, I'm not going to... Again, CB, it's one tier. As long as it's not something like a three-tiered jump, I'm not going to argue. Mm-hmm. Am I crazy to say that X-Man is, like, high B tier? I've used him once, and it wasn't even in an X gameplay, so it's kind of tough for me to say. I... I would lean. I don't know. I think he belongs in B tier, but do you, do you like Carmelo? Carmelo, absolutely. I love Carmelo. They're the they have the exact same dribble sigs, but he's got base forty, which is like Rip Hamilton's it's release. Good. Yeah, it's good. Um, well, it's your base forty and twenty two half the cards in the game. Vitor those two. He's basically same sigs as Carmelo, same height, same length. The only difference mm-hmm. is is that he's got base forty instead of Carmelo release. But he's got way better tendencies, but Malone has got better stats. So basically, gotcha. even with Carl Malone. Wherever you put Carl Malone, Malone, would you put Carl Malone to B? Because he's not actually here. I oh, know he is here. Absolutely. I would have Carl Malone to yeah. be. Yeah, so Carl let's Malone. put Carl Malone here. So wherever Carl Malone is, they're almost even. Like, they are, they're almost even. Gotcha. Um, Vince? I'm, I I can't put him above B. I, I just, no, he's I'm, not bad, but I'm not making that he's definitely not worth locking in. No, God, no, but I think he's very sim. I think he's better than Jordan. I think they're very similar. I, I can't separate them. Yeah. LeBron. A. S. Is that the uh, shoot? Small, Is that no. point guard? No. Sm- the small forward. I'm not going to argue the point guard one, but 
It's point so, guard one would be as shoot small forward one. I can't put him at that. I probably can't. Just if you're going to run him at small forward, it's like what is the point? Yeah, if you're running a power forward and you're running the books freelance, but then your power forward in that freelance is a cone anyway. So mm-hmm. like there's unless you want to force give him the ball and because of the way the game is half the time he's already ran into the front court and it's just frustrating using him as a ball handler definitely I'm fine with A D D he's worse well, Dino he is I, I I don't think I, I he's borderline because he's the best four at the at the B tier I think but I don't know you could go A B I'll let you handle this one I'm, I'm not getting. Let's see what we way. have left. I'm putting him in B because I think this guy's better. Really? Yes. And I listen. I I would I would tend to disagree with this, and I and here's why. Here's why. People know I didn't like Michael Porter Jr. and people know I don't you know really like Bam, and I just I don't love that release. I'm not that release, and, and that's really behind it. I don't like ADs either on half quick draw, to be honest. Fair enough. That's fair enough. I don't love ADs release either. Like, these two, it's between, really, because they're they're the same length, they're the same height, they play the same positions, they're the same SIGs. It's really... And they both have okay releases. Like, you, you might like them, but, like, they're not... Neither of them are objectively bad. It's between, do you prefer the Magic behind the back or the Pro 2 tween? And the thing is, I think I would probably both have them at B, but I... Okay, he might, so if we're moving somebody down, it'll be Bam, basically. Fair enough. Or if we need to move someone up, it'll be AD. Fair okay, enough. Harden, C. C, I'm not going to argue that. He's not bad, but... He's way he's, he's way better than the other Harden. I'll admit Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Kawhi, S. Yeah, no. No brainer. Kawhi's incredible. Basically a go-kart. Um, he's got one stop below 98. He's a go-kart in everything but kart art. Now, can we talk about this next card for a second? Can, 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 can we put some respect on his name for a second? Yeah. I don't know what... I was... I was. Um, <laughs> Is that enough? That's fine. That's fine. I'm fine with B, but I, I was didn't, watching a video. Oh, I, with, I admit it. I admit it. I just compared him to Glitch Shack. He's so much better. Yes. He's yes, so much better. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy now. I'm happy oh, now. Like, I was watching a video. I was going to tweet about it, but... I'm glad. Yeah, I think I'd only used them once or twice. And then I can't even remember what video I used them in. But there was just one random. It might have been like a marbles video where I just happened to get Jokic or something. And he just dominated. He had like 30 points. He's incredible. Man. Oh, he's ridiculous. He's like, imagine Glitch Shack with a moderately okay release. <laughs> and he's way good. better tendencies and way better in everything. Jokic is good, man. Middleton, Middleton C. I, I would put him in B personally. I'll give you that. I'm not going to argue. I Middleton's love, I love his tendos. He's also got a moderately good jump shot. I like his jump shot, absolutely. And he's got a great bind the back. I'm not going to argue. B. B. I, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a big BI guy, but I'm not going to argue B. I yeah, mean, like he's, I'm not. I've, objectively, he's good. I don't. Love the card. Though. He's so similar to Pascal Siakam. It's crazy. He is. Like same, he is, same height, same length, same release, same everything. Same everything. For some reason, I love Siakam and don't like Brandon Ingram. Really, Maybe I'm. I'm even about. I don't know. C for Zion. Zion. It's tough because he can't play shooting guard. I, you have to put him in C. I yeah. mean, he's not bad, but I like the Zion card. But his player build is really so high. huge. And with the it updated is. tendencies, it's just so much better than this island. Definitely, definitely. Go LeBron, Giannis, S tier, guessing? S, S, absolutely. Yeah, there's Hakeem. no... Yeah, there's no there's no even debating those, really. Is Hakeem better than Bam? Like, he's one of he's no. one of these two tiers, like. I would probably... I didn't play, I've only played one game with him. Objectively, I think he's A tier, but... I mean, like for me, he's a little got a little bit more length than Bam. They have the same sigs, I think. Mm-hmm. It's just for me, Bam. Bam is a like he has a faster release, whether you like it or not. It's faster. 
it's faster. So it for is. me, I put these better on defense a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, I put these two on a very similar level because like I'm Bounds better offensively, Akeem's better defensively. I'm fine with that. Yeah, let's keep both nights. Keep both nights. Duncan. Tim. A. A. This yeah. is the most shockingly, surprisingly good card that came in the goat set. Everybody expected him to be bad, but he's good. Yeah, good, but like, like you said, they gave him Lamelo Ball sigs. Mm-hmm. He was never not going to be good. Absolutely, especially at six eleven. Yeah, Bill. I don't. It's hard personally, but C B or B. B I'm B. fine with C. Yeah, <laughs> look, I'm fine with whatever. I'm fine. I'd prefer KG over him. I you know what? Him. I don't think that release is that bad off the catch. Who's Bills? Bills. It's just horrible off the dribble. It's just slow, though. Yeah, but I mean, like, it's I not Hakeem know. slow or Duncan slow. Like, it's it's not. It's I, I don't know. You could put him B. T Mac. I I have no hesitation. S. I have no hesitation. Okay, Here's I'll give why. you. Like for me, he, he has, would be high A, but I'm not gonna argue him in S. He has a hundred on ball steal tendency. In in going back to his other cards, they've had a fifty four. You know, and that's even though nothing else got really updated, that's big enough. In which I think he's S. I'll give you that, and I assume I for actually just like my last one, I don't have leap, I don't have the say the flash one. I assume we have both a flash team like in eight here, yeah. Hey, yep. Yeah. Yep. Stockton, <laughs> you can argue this. Oh, yeah. and I, it's hard for me to argue that. I, I as much as I like stock. I love. I I've used them in a few gameplays. I like them. I just can't argue that. I can't. There's no arguing that. Dirk, Dirk belongs there too. C. Dirk is worthless. He is worthless. No, he's not. Dirk is worthless. No, he's not. <laughs> it's absolutely terrible. No, he's not. What okay, what me, does he do? This. He has one let bad thing this. about him. He has one bad thing about him. And it's the most important thing. But like, Duncan can't shoot either. Duncan's got a way better release than Dirk. No, it he, is. no he doesn't. It's it's way better. No, he doesn't. I can, I moved in group with Tim Duncan. I could not move in Dirk. Look, you can Dirk tween is, up and down the floor, hop, step, cheese on everybody. Dirk seven you foot could do tall. Do that with long. his last card. I mean, you know he you couldn't hop step with his last card. He could tween though. I mean, well, this I, one has juice ninety nine lateral quickness as well and juice of tendencies. The other one was slow. I hate this Dirk. I hate this. I'm dirt. not. PC, Bill Russell's got to be beat. That's all I'm going to say. I'll, I'll give Bill you Bill Russell's Russell B, but him. you cannot argue ninety nine everything, seven foot tall, best hop step in the game, juice of tendencies. Is lower than C because the only thing he has wrong is his release. Like he's really he's better in every single way than Glitchak. Is is he better than that? The reward AD. Yes. Okay, fair enough. Have you have you tried to use Dirk just running deep hash with him? No. I, was about- I, I mean, I would I, I used Dirk in a gameplay, but it was bad. It was, it was very very bad. Yeah, you can't. The worst thing about Dirk is you can't use Dirk like he's Dirk. You have to use mm-hmm. Dirk like he's the way Jan- like he's pre two fifty k pink diamond Giannis, but if he's Gosh. wide open, he'll hit a deep shot. Fair enough, fair enough. But um, I was about to say I'll oh, use him in a gameplay, but I assume we're both in the same boat that we may not play two k twenty the rest of this year. <laughs> yeah, probably not. But you have MTM, don't you? Hold up one second, you? Yeah, no matter. Um, yeah, I do. I have MTM, so I'll probably... I'm Both of them are in the final. I won't have too much more to play, but... Are we in agreement, S? For Kevin Durant? Yeah. Absolutely. No doubt about it. Yeah. is He doesn't seem to straight arm as much as the other Kevin Durant's. No, he do- and he doesn't, but I don't... We'll see. We'll see. I mean, if, if I use that KD guard, then... You know, like a lot, then we'll see. But KD's the straight arm king, man. Beasley, C or D? I'm gonna give him C. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give him C. I like his six nine frame. Yeah. Oscar Robertson, same as Harden. Absolutely. They are. These cards are scarily similar. They really Oscar are. Oscar Robertson and James really Harden. Are. S for Bobo. Hmm. No hesitation for me that he's an S tier player. It's tough though because like it's just. 
I mean, in MTM, he's my starting small forward. He absolutely is. Look, I'm going I'm to keep him in the ass, absolutely. For me, it's like Simmons for me is the best point guard in the game. But Simmons, LeBron, Giannis is preference. But like for me, small forward, if I was running as someone at small forward, it would be Bo Bold and Kevin Durant. Mm-hmm. That's fair enough. I know a lot of people are running that Braun, even at small forward. The goat one? Running Sim- yeah, running, or at least Isaac is. He's running Simmons at point guard, I think, and Braun at small forward. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's all preference, but. Bamba B? B, I, I B. can't go any higher. Yeah, I can't go any higher. Because of Anthony Davis. Like mm-hmm. Anthony Davis is just way too good for this tier. He's out. He's out of spot. He looks out yeah, of place. Move AD up. Move AD up. Yeah, AD up. looks just out of place in that B tier. Move him up. Jaron Jackson. He's he's bam. He's oh, literally he's bam. He's bam. He's, yeah, I can't argue that. I cannot argue that. Like he's bam, but a different release. Release Batum. B. That's where I put him. Right in B. Batum's very underrated. I'm gonna admit that Batum is very underrated. Yeah. Like DeRozan gives you a little more on offense, in my opinion. So yeah, Batum gives you a bit more defense, so kind of even. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Simmons S. S. No so, doubt about it. So as so I'd say, is like we we kind of have a little bit lopsided up towards the top, but like it's hard to put, say a Beasley or something, as a, a D tier player in any situation. Like mm-hmm. because like you can realistically C tier and above. I think you can run. You could run any of these guys in a comp setting and they'll hold their own. Whereas D tier and below, you probably wouldn't run any of them. Mm-hmm. Most of them, yeah. Is that a is that a good cutoff point? I would say yes, absolutely. C tier. Yeah. Okay, so that is the video. So Ty, huge shout out to Ty. A link to his channel will be in the description. And this is the final tier list, as as far as I know, anyway, because. You just never know. We we might as well be call ourselves a tier channel at this stage. This might as well be the last tier. This may be the last tier list um, this year. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.